Good morning. It is the 13th of July. Just uh, come out of this trail and uh, swing around here. And it pops out into this meadow. I believe this is Buffalo Mountain. Got some interesting geographic features there. And I think what I do is just go over on the left here and pop over that pass and then down. Down. But this has been a climb. Oh, there's another hiker. Maybe two up ahead. They just went behind the trees. Two of them. I was about to say, on this trail, uh, last night I saw one person. Seen no one this morning. Um, so anyway, this is called the Silverthorn Alternate on the CDT. And I'm taking this for a few reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is, uh, when I started feeling bad, uh, back on the 4th of July, uh, it was going over, uh, Eldridge, uh, Elridge Peak, the 14er, and the red line of the CDT, uh, takes, uh, takes a line over Gray's Peak, another 14er. And I was just thinking, you know, I just need to watch out about this elevation and I'm just not ready to take on another 14er right now. And I got the highest one in Colorado anyway, so which wasn't even on the trail. Um, another reason is it's a little bit shorter than the red line and it's gonna allow me to have like shorter days for a few days here. Um, just to see if I'm, you know, well. And the third reason is it goes right through Silverthorn. So I should be uh, resupplying today. And I think I can like take an alternate off the alternate and go down a road and go like right to target. So we'll see. So these folks are not coming over where I am, but uh, yeah, okay. This is, this is, I, I hope you're appreciating this, but I think this is just absolutely gorgeous right here. Wow. Come up to this. Uh, I think this is Eccles Pass. It's actually a named pass. Looks like, a, you know, it descends pretty rapidly right down here. And then, not exactly, well, not exactly sure. It probably just goes like right through there. Uh, but look at those mountains. Ah, crazy. Yeah, panning over. And the, this trail just goes right down that, that valley there. And it goes like right into Silverton, I think. Yeah, that is, what did I say that was? Ugh. Buffalo Mountain, I think, yeah. That's the way that I've come. Still a little hay, well, fair amount of haze in the sky. Not sure what it's from. I, I don't smell any smoke. Well, I saw something through the trees here. First, I thought it was another hiker coming up. And I thought. Maybe it's a deer, but it's not. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. It's a mountain goat. Oh, good. We're not going to have a three billy goats gruff moment here. Oh. I may just be in the worst tent site I have ever had. Ever. Maybe in the history of the world. Time will tell. It's starting to rain now. 
as you can hear, I'm sure. As I was determining, do I want to set this up or do I not want to set this up? I saw lightning off to the side. And I said to myself, oh, well, that's a good thing. Because off to the east, it's clear. And that's where we're going to get the weather from. No, 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 no. The prevailing winds are from the west. I don't know what I was thinking. Sort of like uh, that guy that I mentioned a few days ago who said, uh, navigating on the CDT in the days before GPS, he somehow managed to convince himself that, well, the sun was rising in the west today. <laughs> Somehow I convinced myself that the uh, prevailing wind was from the east. Okay. Uh, This could be a long night. (laughs) Okay.